everybody. Welcome back to the Magnus Storm. Let's keep trying to stay one step ahead of it. Okay, so it was Jen's turn. And I think she will go on ahead and grab one of these workers. And where does she want to go? She does not want to have to make this commander more expensive to get next round. But by the same token, she does want to take advantage of this super duper cheap way to travel around. This is the last opportunity to travel cheaply. So she'll do it anyway. So she has to spend one resource to move and deploy one more turtle lap. And she'll move. She could go to either of these other ones on the space she is, but she'll jump over here. Does she want to get a green or blue? I think, actually, I think she'll go for a green because that puts her up on this track. And hey, all she's got to do is just be one ahead of me to get that commander at the end of the round. Because this is the least attractive track, because you just get more of your own cubes. That's not particularly exciting. But, you know, getting control of another commander is. So Jen has moved over there, and that's that. And so now we are tied up for a majority of this zone. And it is my turn. Let's see here. And now, here's my problem. I have nothing. I have no resources. But you know what? I do have one yellow. That's all it takes. I'm going to spend it to get this last yellow out of the way so I can get access to that commander. So this yellow's got to go somewhere. I'll just go on ahead and put it down here to, again, to, to ensure that this is more expensive to, so I can hold on to that commander in the future. And in the meantime, I have grabbed him. He doesn't have a card. I just grab him as a reminder at the end of the round, or at the start of the next round, I'll be first player again. For turn order is not going to change. And in the meantime, I get one non-yellow cube of my choice. I think I'll take a purple. Might come in handy down the road, and I get to go up on one science track, which is interesting. I, you know, I don't want Jen to be able to get that green uncontested, but by the same token, I'd like to just keep on climbing up this one so that I can get a yellow. I'm just going to keep climbing up where I already am. All righty, so I'm, I'm getting closer. I'm, I'm trying to hold on to majority of that particular commander for the end of the round. Okay, so that was it. And so basically, I traded a yellow for a purple, but also some science. All right, Jen's turn. That's her. And now, Jen, remember, she cannot touch these orange ones until everything else is gone. So she'll grab one of these. And what does she want to do now? She's still got some cubes. Yeah, I think... I think Jen is going to come over here. As a bonus, she will get to move up on the blue science track. But first, she will pay a yellow and a purple to deploy uh, once more. And she could stay here and move up on the blue, but Jen is going to move into a new sector. And she is going to build a turtle, which that's her third turtle, so it's going to cost her another purple. So she is almost broke. And she can move up on the red or the green. She'll just keep on moving up on the red. And remember, she also got the bonus of moving up on the blue, which gave her a yellow. Nice. Okay, cool. And so now... Jen's tied for majority here, and she's got majority there, which is going to give her 2Q, you know, etc., etc., for the end of the round. But one other thing happened that's very important. Whenever you travel along a zone that has one of these connectors to, oh, I forget what they're called. What are those called? The, they're deployment sites, basically, functionally, but they are called transmitter stations. Jen passed over a transmitter station or passed by a location for a transmitter station. Whenever you do that, if you want, you can spend resources and deploy a transmitter, which Jen will do. The first one costs one, so she'll spend this one, her last purple and deploy a transmitter station. Now that gave her two points. Every transmitter station gets two points, but they cost more and more. So Jen has now caught up with me. And what a transmitter station does in the future when you, on a turn, are going to try to move your little scout around, instead of starting where you are and then moving one space or two if you take a bonus, you can start from any active transmitter that belongs to any player. Although, if I want to use Jen's transmitter, i got to pay her a cube to do it. But in that way, I could, you know transport myself halfway across the planet. Uh, you know, I could have like really been focusing on one area and then jumping over to the other area by paying to use somebody else's transmitter. But in the meantime, Jen just got two points for that. And she is now the leader of this area. Okay, so it was my turn. And I know Jen still has that orange. So if I take one of these away, I know she'll just go ahead and grab that commander immediately. So I'm going to grab one of these other ones. And... I am totally out of cubes, so I think I'm just going to come down here and get three cubes, plus I'm going to draw one and hope for the best. Alrighty, so I get my three, my three currency, and 
Here's hoping I get a yellow or purple somewhere in this sack, Jack. But it'll probably... Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! I actually got a purple! Wow, nice. Well, that was, that was pretty lucky. Okay, so that was my turn, and now I'm flush. And in fact, I've got enough that I could go on ahead and get that commander. And just like, no! Because here's the deal. What Jen was waiting for was, she was going to do an action, I was going to do an action, and then with only one left, Jen thought, oh, she was going to get that last commander, because she was the only one who had. But I've refilled myself. So, well, anyway, Jen, um, she does have a yellow. She does have one yellow. There's only one yellow here? What the heck? It was not on her original list of things to do, but Jen will spend her yellow to get this guy out of the way to recruit this commander. Okay. Boom. Which gives Jen two more points. One, two, for having gotten this one. All right, and so she has to put this down here somewhere. And let's get the commander she's got. Um, right. It's Ellen B. Outridge, I believe. Okay. So the other ones go back until they get recruited. And so... Jen got two points. If I take away from her, she loses one and I get the two points. But in the meantime, Jen has a bonus. Whenever she completes an objective, which I haven't talked about yet, in addition to the points she gets for the objective, she gets one additional point and she can move up one on any science track. The white is any science track of her choosing. So that's pretty cool. So hey, let's take this opportunity to talk about objectives. Every time you set up the game, there are two um, lab ones and two research ones. Because remember, this is all about research, trying to find these ancient alien civilizations. In this game, at the end of your turn, after you're done, but before the next player's turn, you can complete one objective if you've got what it takes. And these objectives, the lab ones, are always about pulling your lab, t your turtles, off the board, which means they will not you know, provide income for you or help you with area majorities, but you can convert them. The first player to do an objective gets four points. The second player gets two points. In a three-player game, there's a third player option as well. So, in this game, we've got retrieve four turtles from four sectors. So Jen's thinking, hey, she's already got two turtles. If she can rush over and get two more turtles in these ones, not only is she all by herself and maintaining majorities, once she's you know ridden that train for a little bit, she can be the first to complete the objective and get four points. The other one, retrieve three turtles, or a turtle from three different sectors, but you have to be in the majority of that sector, which is going to be tougher to do, because if you've traveled far and wide, to, um, to get into three different sectors, chances are you might have lost majority in one of the first ones you went to, and then you got to travel back to get your majority back so that you can complete this objective. Now, also, we've got these research ones, and it's always a matter of losing progress on your research tracks. This one, oh, this is painful. Move one of your research markers down 10, which means you have to make it all the way to the top, and then you have to lose it all. But um, that will score you four points. And remember, in a game where we're racing to 25 points, four points is a huge deal. But if you made all the way to the top and then you fall all the way to the bottom, chances are you're going to lose control of whatever a commander you had because other players will have supplanted you. And the other ones, in round one, which we're still in, move one of your research markers down four spaces, but you have to have the most knowledge. So now, Jen, all she's got to do, either of us, if either of us move just one more space up, We'll have four knowledge, and either of us can complete this objective, but then we'll come crashing back down, and at the end of the round, we will, have, you know, if I come crashing down on this, Jen will end up getting this commander. But I'll have gotten the four points, which could um, be the win. But remember, if Jen gets the commander, she gets two points. Ah! All right, so anyway, but anyway, the main thing is now that Jen has Ellen on her side, whenever she completes an objective, she gets an extra point, and she gets to climb in science. So that could offset the losses she makes in science. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, that was it for Jen. It is my turn now, and I've got a choice to make. If I just take this off here and do another action before the round is over, then I'll be leaving just one of my guys there, and I know Jen will definitely re recruit that commander, and Jen will have two commanders. I'm not going to let that happen. So instead, I've got my, I'm going to spend two, I'm going to bump both these guys. Oops. Oh, by the way, Jen had to choose where this went. She put it over here because she wants this, she wants to hold on to this commander, so she wants to make this more expensive. All right, so I'm going to put both these down. I'll put one here, thereby making it super expensive for Jen to take this commander away. In the next round, uh, Jen, to take it, would need two oranges and four yellows. Now, of course, that won't say the same, but that means I'll have control of this guy for quite a while. Okay, so I put one there, and I will put one over here. Um, no, no, I'll put one over here. Although I don't get to hold on to this first player commander. But like, I'll do it anyway. But the important thing is, 
I have just snagged this commander, which gave me two more points. We're racing our way up, and I gotta find that commander card now, which is right here. So, boom. Boom. Wait, wait, where did it go? Oh, there she is. Which one is she? No, she's the only one I don't have, of course. There we go. Adria Oxil. In the future! So, I got two points. I now have another special power. And they're both related to scouting around. When I'm scouting, one of mine can stand in for a yellow. And when I'm every time I scout, I can spend two of my own to go up one on any science track. Plus, I'm going to be first player. So, that was very nice. Very nice. Okay. And this round is over because this is cleared out. So, after it's over, we go into the administration phase. And there's a little summary right up here for all the different steps for admin. First, we check for majorities. And we're tied for majorities here. So, um, everything in this game, the rules say, are friendly ties. So, in the case of a tie, we both get one. Um, right. But Jen has the sole majority in this, so she got a second one. We've done majorities. Now we get our income based on our labs. Jen has one over here. That gives her two of her purple cubes. And then Jen has two over here, which gets her a yellow universal cube. And me, I've got two over here, which gives me a yellow as well. So Jen got a lot. She got more points and she got more income. But hey, I got a lot more commanders. Okay. So um, now we figure out who gets the scientific commanders. Jen has clearly taken this one. I've taken this one. So Jen took two science commanders. She's got two of the three. So she has um, uh, Kim Kin Park. And, um, right, this is the one I have. Uh, Kasia uh, Vasadice, which is another one related to moving around. When I do a scout action one time, I can put a turtle down for free. Um, or, or, what, or, what is this symbol? I, I'm going to have to look her up. I don't remember what she, I don't know what she does. And so Jen got the other one, which is also, while scooting around, Jen has to pay one less cube while scouting. So, all of, well, almost, yeah, all the special powers, all the commanders have been taken. I've got three. Jen's got three. Let's see here. So, we have deployed the commanders. Now, we change turn order, except turn order doesn't change. If Jen had gotten this, she would become first in the next round. But as it is, I just hold on to first player. And now, we switch. And the Magna Storm rotates. Boom! And now, here's a problem. In this region, any lab that is in a region with the Magna Storm can no longer count towards uh, area majorities. You don't because you don't you don't consider area majorities in a in a stormy zone. Nor can they get harvesting, as you can see. So this storm is going to be chasing us around the planet throughout the game, and it's basically going to be taking our labs offline. So these labs are no longer good for area control. They're no longer good for harvesting, but they are still good for completing these objectives. Um, because, you know, they're now just trapped down here in the storm and they're saying, please beam us back up, Scotty, or, you know, send a dropship and get us back onto the mothership or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, to be able to do it, we have to be able to complete these. Jen's on her way. She'd, she'd be able to get one of her turtles out of here. Because remember, the more turtles you have deployed on the surface, the more expensive it gets to deploy more. So once Jen gets a turtle over here and over here, she could complete the objective and pull one of these back off the board and score four points but thereby potentially giving up area majorities elsewhere. Okay, so we have to swap these boards. So this just slides on up. And I am the first player going into round two, and so we begin again. And as you can see, the costs have gotten very radically... Oh, and the first player marker goes back here. Okay, so I have purples. I picked up two purples. Uh, and so, if we can clear out these yellows really quick, I can get uh, Ellen from Jen. I mean, Ellen is not is not somebody who will help us right now. But you know what? I've got three characters who are helping. Oh, okay, I need to look up what uh, Kasia does. Kasia, Kasia, Kasia. And they're all summed up right here on the back page of the manual. Very nicely done. Kasia, Kasia, Kasia. She is an administration commander. And where are you, Kasia? I don't see you. Or, or oh, it's because you're uh, you're not. You're uh, right. There she is. Once per turn, if you move your scout, you can ignore the cost for building a turtle. Or, 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 oh yeah, or a transmitter station. That's what it is. Yeah. So, because you saw how Jen had to pay to build the transmitter station. So, that's pretty nice. 
I mean, I've got myself set up now. I should really be booking it on the planet's surface to take advantage of all these before Jen takes them away from me. Um, particularly since, well, we're kind of done here. Another thing, by the way, Jen is out of the Magna Storm. She's into the next area. I'm trapped in the Magna Storm. Now, what that means is I uh, have to make moves that go clockwise. I am not allowed to try and fight my way through the storm to come out, you know, and, and just try and come out the other side to get uh, uh, out of it. You have to move away from it. That's a rule. You always have to be heading clockwise. So I need to move out of here, which means for my first action, I might want to make this commander cheaper, let's say, and I might want to do a double movement. Because right now, a single movement only gets me here, and I cannot put a lab here because it's in the storm. So I want to do at least a double movement. Although, instead of using this, this, or this space to do a double movement, I could pay Jen a cube and then start from her transmitter station, which makes more sense. I don't want to give up those cubes, though. Ah! But, you know, I mean, for this, this, or this, it requires three of my cubes, or uh, one of my cubes and a yellow, or um, two of my cubes in yellow. Although, that's not so bad, because remember, I've got that special power. Let's go here, and let's move two. Let's book, let's book it. And I will go one, two, and I'll pay, and, oh no, yes, I'll pay, and, um, oh shoot, I'm using a yellow, yeah. no, I, no, it has to be mine. I can't use Jen's currency as my own. Oh, that's a pain. All right, hold on a second. I don't want to do that yet. I just need a few of my own cubes to use all my powers. Because the other thing is, I mean, I have to start paying to put my um, turtles down. But remember, I can put it one turtle down for free every turn. Plus, if I have my own cubes, I could also go up. All right, so no, I, I don't want to do this right away. I want to get, I need to get some of my own stuff. The best way I could do that is come into this row. And I'll come here and I'll draw three. And I'll hopefully get lucky and get another one. So then on my next turn, I'll be set to where I can really leverage all of my powers. Let's see if I can get a yellow or a purple. I probably won't. I found a black. Yep, that means it's mine. So another orange for me. But now I'm loaded. Next turn, I'll make a big double run. All right. And Jen's turn. Right. So Jen would like to start getting in a situation where she could take this commander from me. So she'll take one of these. Um, because you can see, I, I mean, I don't have a yellow. Although I could turn three of these into a yellow um, and clear this out. But since I already have the commander, I would basically just be holding on to it. Actually, can you do that? I'm not sure about that. Uh, that's not something Jen and I have actually tried. I'd have to double check the rules. I think you can do that and then just not take the commander just to ensure no one else takes it from you. Because if Jen takes it from me, I lose a point and she gains two points. But anyway, so Jen's doing this. She is the first out of the gate. And she will come down here to get a red bonus. She could move because she does have a yellow and one of her own. Or she could get two more of her own. And if she moves, let's see, she can move over here to start heading off in that direction. Or, I mean, you know, since it's hers, she could say, oh, she could start from here and then move over there if she wanted to. Or she could just get some more cubes and start saving up for a bigger move. No, I think she is, she is going to pay the yellow and one of her purples, right, to move. And because she came here, she is going to get a red bonus after she does the main thing. So, she's going to have to pay another cube to build her fourth turtle. And she can increase on the red, the green, or the blue. She will increase on the red, which moves her up here. That gives her another one of her own, or no, her or my cubes. She'll take one of mine. Okay. And, remember, she moves up again on the red. Which means she gets a yellow and um, one of mine or one of hers. I think she'll take one of mine again. Then she never has to worry about having them, because it's easy for her to get her own. So, boom. She's got a whole bunch of my cubes. Crazy. And now, at the end of her turn, Jen is going to complete an objective. Because during round two, which is what we're in right now, if your research mark... Oh, it has to be up. I have to move down to six. Ah, it was four. Now it's six. So, if Jen were one more up, she could come crashing down and get the four points from that. And since I haven't even moved on it, she doesn't mind so much. So, oh, I thought she could get up to five, but she has to move up one more space, and then she could do it. So she needs to put a turtle, so she wants to move over here and then over here to build a turtle here, and then complete that objective, get four points, and then um, still climb back up and hopefully still hold on to that scientist. Because remember, she has the bonus. When she completes an objective, she gets an extra point. So that's the objective she set her sights on. 
Ah, but she needs just a little bit more red to do it. And there are no more red bonuses. And, although she, and, and yeah. And unfortunately, the closest red is all the way over here. So she's going to have to move two spaces. That's going to take her a good deal of time. But, um, hey, there's a lot of workers left, so she could definitely make that move. All right. And in the meantime, she is got she's got almost as many of my currency that as I do. So me trying to keep my monopolies there aren't really going to help me very much if Jen wants to take those commanders from me. And, right. Right, right, right. What am I going to do? Oh, I've got a lot of options. Right. Oh, but no, I was going to make a big move. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to make a big move. I'm going to do this one that lets me do a double move, which normally would require two yellows. But in this case, I can spend my own. So I'll spend two of my own and hold on to that yellow for later. And I can move two spaces instead of one. I will go one, two. And I've made it. Hooray. And I didn't have to use Jen's transmitter to, you know, by paying her. And I'm going to build a green over here, which is going to cost me one of my own cubes. And now... Not that I'm excited about that, but hey, I don't want Jen to have that um, that science commander uncontested. And since I just did a scout, I can spend two more cubes. Oh, wait. And I didn't have to pay. So I kept one cube because of Casey there. I didn't have to pay to put that turtle down, so I've still got one cube. And I'm going to spend two cubes to move up on any science track I want. And I'm just going to move up here and get another yellow. All right, cool. Sweet. So I mean, if I have a whole bunch of yellows, I could spend them early and um, you know, and try to snag something, but you know, like like the first player marker before Jen ever gets a chance to. Um, and also, I got to remember, Jen might take this away from me someday. In which case, I'll definitely want to have those yellows on hand. Okay. So now I've got a foothold here, but I'm in second place. If I can get, I'd have to get. If I get one more. Uh, turtle, then we would both share in the area majority. So I'd take that area majority away from her effectively, and I'd get more income because these guys aren't doing anything for me anymore. And that was my turn, and it is Jen's turn, and uh, alrighty. So she has none of her own cubes. She should really probably try and get some of those. But, and interestingly, if she wants, no, 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 she can't. And she, if she had one more yellow, because she needs two yellows and an orange, so she'll go on ahead and take this. And she just wants some of her own cubes. So she'll just come here to get three. Just to get some more income. That's the best she can do. Although, by, she didn't have to come here. She could have come over here. Because here, she's blocking the chance to do a double move. And she might like that double move too. So I don't think she'll block that. She will put it over here. Thereby making it more expensive to take this commander away at some point in the future. Potentially. But unknown to her... Uh, that's only helping me because now on my turn, I'm going to spend this and grab the last one of these. And I'm going to take this away now before Jen got to complete the objective. No! And um, I, I still like to move it, move it. Although I'm all out of cubes now, so I need some more cubes. So we'll just come over here and get three orange cubes. No, no, right? We don't do that because I'm recruiting. We I put him somewhere. I can put him any place, but I don't get the benefit. I'll just put him down here. And I uh, kick Jen out, which means she loses one point, and I get two. And now I've got Ellen. I've got four commanders, and Jen was too slow to complete her objective. I thought she had it, but she didn't quite. And how the uh, tide has shifted. I have all three commanders down there. Yikes. Um, but you know what? Jen has majority on the planet still. And me taking the time to get that commander means I'm giving Jen more time to get to do more work on the planet instead of engaging in intrigue back up on the mothership. What happens next? You know what, folks? I don't know. Because I'm going to stop right there because now you've seen pretty much the whole thing. We're going to continue like this for another round or two until somebody hits 25 points or we play a full four rounds, always trying to stay one step ahead of the storm and one step ahead of each other in Magnus Storm. Now, if you want to hear those final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.